Hi folks, this is my first YouTube video and I thought I might talk about uh, an interesting experience I had with an aircraft jack that I recently built. Actually I built it about five or six years ago and I've been using it since but haven't really encountered any major issues until recently. And I figured, uh, once I figured out what the issues were or what they likely were, I thought it would be worth uh, sharing with the rest of the community. So basically this jack is one of two that I built and it utilizes a commercial off-the-shelf uh, hydraulic jack and this is something that I bought online from a, a, a well-known um, jack manufacturer. They have a US presence but they're made overseas as pretty much they all are. And uh, then the rest of it is just fabricated from um, most of the materials I had on hand but it's also uh, some uh, I had to buy a few things. In any case, um, the situation I encountered recently was one that was quite perplexing and uh, quite troublesome. So I had put the aircraft up on a pair of these jacks for an annual inspection and the, um, the landing gear test that you do. It's a retractable gear aircraft. It's a low wing, so uh, you need uh, jack stands to do that. And the aircraft had been up on the jack stands for uh, some time, maybe a few weeks. And when I went to, um, to to consider lowering it, I encountered a problem. And what the problem I noticed is that uh, the pump here was was no longer doing anything. So when I pump this now, uh, if you look at the ram, you'll be able to see that it goes up a little bit with each pump. And at the time it, the aircraft was on it, it wasn't moving. And also there was no resistance to toggling this pump mechanism. Absolutely no resistance at all. So I knew there was something wrong, I just didn't know exactly what was wrong. Now, when the aircraft was up, it wasn't up this high, okay? It was up maybe to about here, um, somewhere, somewhere like that, about six and a half to seven inches. So nowhere close to the total travel capacity of the jack. And so it was still in a very stable configuration as far as you know, the height goes and the extension of the ram. Um, the thing is, I didn't, at that time, there's a safety collar that I had installed, and I'll just show you, it's just a commercial off-the-shelf collar with a 25 millimeter diameter, and this collar was down against the top of the jack, and the collar was tight on the shaft, and um, the pump wasn't working. And so I could not raise it up, uh, to, you know, normally I wouldn't leave it against the top of the jack. I would leave it up a little bit. So I would normally leave it like like that. And uh, I found that when I came back to the hangar to do some work on the aircraft, the collar was down against the top of the jack and the pump did not work. And so that was very concerning. I didn't dare loosen this collar because then I feared that the aircraft could fall uncontrollably. And so... Um, I had to build a contraption that uh, could be disassembled and that went around here with a couple of threaded rods and uh, then I could slowly lower the, the jack with the aircraft on it using those threaded rods. And you know that there's really not an, a, a good additional jacking point for the aircraft so I couldn't just like uh, put, the, put another jack somewhere else. So I was stuck with having the aircraft on here and yet having this jack that was non-functional and potentially could cause an uncontrolled collapse uh, if I were to loosen this collar. And so that's that's what I ended up doing. It took me quite a while to build and fabricate that. And then um, that worked fine. I had help from my brother who's the cameraman right now. But what I wanted to demonstrate when I brought this thing home, I did not disassemble it. Uh, I just started fussing around with it trying to figure out what was going on and what I what I learned through some fussing around is that if I put a load on the jack um, that was not the demo I wanted to do um, I'm putting a load on it now and you see that it's just collapsing and it's not because of this valve this valve is tight pretty tight I could tighten it slightly more but that is not why it's collapsing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pump it up a little bit and I'll, demonst I'll do that demo again.
So this was not happening when it when it was in the state it was in with the aircraft on it. It wasn't going up. But for the demo, what I want to demonstrate is that I can put significant load on this ram right now. I can put all my weight, which is nothing compared to the aircraft weight. The aircraft was probably a thousand pounds or eight hundred pounds on that side. Uh, but I can put weight on here and it doesn't move at all, right? And um, what? There, I'm putting like almost all my weight. If I've had something to spread the load on my hand, I could do it better. But if I put all my weight on here, it doesn't it doesn't go down. However, if I put a slight side load, it doesn't take much on it, on the rim. At the and I do that with very little vertical load, then I can push it down. So I'm just going to push a few pounds this way. Okay? And now I can just push this ram down just like that. And that is something that I never imagined could happen. Um, and I don't believe that this jack is uh, more or less prone to this uh, than any other jack. It may be more prone. I just I don't have any reason to believe that it is because um, I haven't tried any other jacks. But I thought the people out there might want to know about this characteristic. Uh, it definitely can happen with this type of jack, and it might happen with other jacks of a similar uh, construction. And what I believe is happening, I'm going to pump this up again so you can see. It's going to go up just fine. Okay. What I believe is happening is, uh, if you watch other videos, or if you've taken one of these type of jacks apart, you'll know that there's a uh, another tube uh, within the jack body here that is the uh, the outer portion of this hydraulic cylinder. So pump, fluid gets pumped into this other smaller tube and then at the bottom of this ram there's a cup style seal and that cup style seal has the uh, opening of, of the cup facing down and that way when there's hydraulic pressure in the bottom here it, it causes that cup to flare out and uh, tighten up against the inside of this inner tube. And what I think is happening is that when I put a little bit of side load on here, the cup seal is, uh, I think it's probably a polyurethane or a fairly stiff plastic of some sort or, you know, combination of materials. And I think what's happening is there's enough slop uh, between this the diameter of this and the tube that it runs in that um, when I put a, just a slight side load on this it allows the bottom end of this ram to move sideways a little bit and that cup seal is not compliant enough on its own to maintain a seal so once the seal is broken uh, fluid will just bypass and the ram goes down so the reason I didn't see this when I first started using this aircraft jack is I didn't have this safety collar. And so therefore, there was no circumstance in which there was a load, you know, an aircraft load on the jack stand or on the jack. Uh, and then that load was removed until the, until the aircraft was on the ground. That was the only way the load was removed. But with this safety collar on here, what could happen is if, for instance, this valve were leaking slightly, or the seal were leaking slightly, or there's any kind of thing like that where the, where there's uh, the cylinder could uh, come in and then put the load on the collar, then all of a sudden that that cup seal was no longer energized. I think is a term that's sometimes used. No longer flared out against the uh, inner bore, and then when uh, you went to pump it, uh, the fluid would just bypass the seal because. The aircraft may have shifted just a slightly, a slight bit, and put a slight side load on this ram. So I'm going to demo it here. Again, if I push really hard straight down, it's not going to go down. Okay, I'm pushing basically as hard as I can. Um, and then if I put a slight, and it's not much side load here, I'm just going to put. I'll just do it with my finger. Up, you could see here, right, like that, just a few pounds. And then I can push this down, okay? And I'm going to pump this while maintaining the side load. And you can see that the ram 
because I have very little load on here, the ram's trying to go up, but that seal at the bottom is just bypassing. So it's just going right back down immediately. Now when I had the aircraft on it, I couldn't even feel this. Uh, I couldn't even feel any resistance. It felt like nothing was happening. And I couldn't see any movement because uh, the fluid leaked as fast as, uh, as fast as I could pump it. I didn't feel any resistance at all. But again, now that I have uh, taken the side load off, it may stay up when I put a load on it. And, and indeed it does. Okay? And the higher it is, the more likely this is to occur because it takes less side load because of the, the leverage. So when this is up here higher, there's more leverage against this fulcrum for this to be shifted inside. So now if I want to put a load on it sideways to make it go down, well, I still can. I didn't, I didn't expect that that was going to work. But anyway, I just thought that might save somebody some trouble. And what I'm planning to do is replace this jack with something that I'm going to fabricate using an Acme screw. And an Acme screw is not going to fail. It's not going to have any complexities of hydraulics and seals and that sort of thing. Uh, it's not kind of as nice in some regards, but I won't have to worry about whether or not my aircraft is going to stay up in the air. And I, I suggest anybody that's considering one of these um, that might be part of your consideration. I know there are commercial aircraft jacks based on similar hydraulic jacks, and maybe they've worked with those hydraulic jack manufacturers uh, to make sure that this problem is minimized or, or doesn't occur. You know, there's, there could be a choice of seal inside um, or